please also like. Thank you! Hello there everyone, Tom here again, and today we have the privilege of taking a look at the Iron Sky uh, from Mechanic Studios. This is MS-20. This is their Astro Train. And this came in today. I was quite surprised. I was not aware of the fact I had it shipped already, but uh, hey, you never know. Maybe I got ahead of the curve and ahead of some of the other reviewers on this one. What do you say we open her up, take a look at it? Right, so right out of the packaging, we get a little Astro Train there, or Iron Sky, if you will. We get an instruction sheet. Let's see here. So that goes from there to there. That goes from there to there. This doesn't appear to be too difficult to transform. As I've been trying to do, I'll take a look at it and see if I can get uh, get it transformed with the directions and see how easy it is. So we'll start with uh, we'll start with that one here. Let's see. So we get this little piece right here. I'm not entirely sure what it is just yet, but we'll figure it out. He gets two guns, and can he hold them? There's one. I'd be surprised if you couldn't. These are three millimeter pegs, so yep, he can hold these weapons just fine. Let's see here. He's coming in at approximately five inches. So, hmm, I wonder what the Galvatron is I had the other day. I'll take a look. Let's see here. Depth wise, his feet stick out more than anything else. So let's call it two and a quarter. Uh, width wise, we'll do shoulder to shoulder and then we'll do wing wingspan. So we're looking at two and a quarter there. Wingspan is right about four. Okay. Articulation the arms are on a ball joint so he can. Definitely go wee just like that and go all the way around until they get stuck by the things here. The head appears to be on a ball joint, has limited mobility simply because of the way that these things here are structured. The elbow 90 degrees, the wrists uh, do they move? Not that I can tell. They appear to be fixed in place. He has a waist swivel. Wow, he's got a waist swivel. He does not have the traditional ab crunch, so if you're going to make him bend over, you're going to have to bend him at the hips. He has a single hip skirt here, which comes up. The legs are on T-jointed ball joints, so he can definitely do the Chinese splits, no problem. Moving the skirt here out of the way. Can he do the American? Uh, it's awfully close, but he's just a little shy of a complete American split. Thigh rotation is built around this mushroom peg right here, so it does like that. Uh, he gets less than 90 degrees of knee bend. The feet are on that ball joint you can see right there. So you can fake it however you need to, uh, up, down, just a little bit. But he does get a, a good rocker out of it. All right, what do you say we zoom in here and take us a look at, at what he actually looks like? So bear with me here. Zoink. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see he's got 
uh, Galvatron purple and this orange paint right here. He's got nice red eyes. It looks like they're outlined in black. And he's a, he's an unhappy fellow. Look at him. He's unhappy. He's he's almost as happy as Nemesis. Hey, right. we got purple paint right here coming down. It's all plastic. That's purple plastic. Uh, we have some detail right here, which I'm not sure. I don't think that's translucent. I think it's uh, metallic paint. We'll find out. We have this right here coming through in detail. And then the feet. He's got some molded details. Yeah. There's not much else to say about him in this mode. Uh, here he is from the back. He's got a little bit of detail here and there. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I don't guess there's anything else really to do except for scale comparison. And to try to figure out where this thing goes. And then we'll begin transformation. Transforming old Astro Train here, or Iron Sky, isn't very difficult. Uh, I really appreciate the simplicity of it. I will say there is a design error, and that is right here. The first step you have to do is turn the head, and no matter what you do, it's going to bang up against this. So just be mindful. Uh, I, I probably won't keep it in this mode. Uh, I, I won't transform it very often, is what I was getting at. So first thing we do, we turn the head around. Next we can come here open up these panels here and here here and here so it looks like that and rotate the fist in close up the panel rotate it so that all the purple goes together do the same thing over here also a spudger is your friend and in case I haven't mentioned it we are going into um, what mode is this? the train mode there's that now leave these flaps open Come back here to this, pull this up, rotate, open that up, rotate this round, and there's a little bit of clearance issue, but it's okay. Now I have to tell you, you cannot, this has to incorporate this part. You cannot do that until you get a little bit closer to it, and it's got, I doubt you can see them, but there's little grooves and pins and ports, and they won't fit has to go like that to get it in there. It'll snap in nice and tight, but it's got to go like that. Pull your wings up. Now, come here, open up these flaps right here, connect your your legs together. The instructions have you doing this, push, pulling this up first. I have discovered that it puts undue stress on this part to do this because it's difficult to connect sometimes. So just snap it together. Snap your feet together, rock these in, very much like the Combiner Wars aerial bots. Shut them down. All right, now we take these, get them out of the way, and we pull our arms in, and they will connect together. There are pins right there that are going to go into little ports that you probably can't see. Squeeze it together, pull that down, squeeze it together, bring your wings here down, 
and there is a port and a pin. Just bring it down, fold that over, bring that down, fold that over, and here you have the little train. And I have to tell you, this thing makes me happy. Um, just, just the simplicity of it and the details on it. Now, is it perfect? Absolutely not. Um, if you notice, we're missing part of the wheel. But <laughs> all things considered, it, it's okay. Uh, let's see here. We're coming in at right about uh, four and a half inches height-wise. Mm, right about inch and a quarter width-wise. There we go. Width-wise, about an inch and a half, approximately. Maybe just a little bit less. Now, this piece doesn't have any function in this mode. At least not that I can find. Uh, unless you want to put it there. Uh, I, I, I guess that works. Uh, additionally, I was not able to find any ports to put these in. They just they don't fit anywhere. So there's you're not going to have an armed train. Sorry, folks. Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to pause right here and I'm going to do some scale comparison. Transforming Astro Train here into his shuttle mode is relatively simple. Basically, we come down here and we open up these flaps. We undo this, bring this up and out, undo that, bring this up and out. We're going to have to undo those, and we need to open up these flaps. Your spudger is your best friend right here. Open these up. Kind of disconnect them where they've they've connected right here. You've got to extend your legs and they're not so happy about the prospect. There we go. Now, extend your legs, unlock them, open up this panel, rotate that up, rotate that around, that will come in and just set flush, it just sets there, pull that back down, do that on this side, open up this panel, pull that around, rotate, push in, shut down. Now. Go ahead and reconnect your feet here, what was your feet, and everything. Give it a good squeeze. Oh, uh, bring in your arms here again, because they need to stay about right there. Rock them back until they go where they're supposed to go, shut those down, and then it's just a matter of getting those clips back together in there like that pulling that up you've got the shuttle head there these rotate around and there's a pair of clips right there that's just going to center around that and that my friends is space shuttle mode and it's a it's a nice little space shuttle I I think it's easier to go from train to space shuttle, obviously. 
uh, my personal preference, but, you know, I mean, you do you, whatever you feel is right. Yeah, so this would come in like this, I guess. And you can use that maybe for a flight stand. This doesn't work for it, but, uh, I mean, just, I don't have a flight stand that's got a square peg that I'm aware of. So that's not going to work, but I guess that's what's that. Oh, one last thing. Pull up the thing. I guess that's what that's for. Um, I could be wrong. I don't know, but that's my best guess. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, in this mode, wingspan is coming in at approximately four inches. Height wise, uh, tip of the thing here is going to be the height of it two inches. Uh, height, width, length. We're looking at approximately five and a half inches. All right. Um, there's not a whole lot of differences in detail. I will say you can add the guns here, although it's not quite the easiest thing in the world I've ever done. Uh, but it is doable. So you you can sorry you can store his weapons there if you want. Yeah. All right. Why don't we do scale comparison in this mode, and then we'll work on final thoughts. Final thoughts wise, uh, as we remember, I look at three things when I look at a figure. Quality, playability, and cost. The cost of this, I bought it from um, TF Direct, Chinese company. If I remember correctly, it was, uh, well, they have it on pre-order uh, right now for 45 I think it is. As of this recording, as I'm doing it, they had three available like this. The, the white and black version sold out. Uh, is it worth $45? Ooh. Uh, I like it enough to where I don't regret my purchase, so I have to say, yeah, this is better than some of the Hasbro Deluxe stuff we get. So, yeah, the plastic quality feels pretty good. There are a few engineering issues, uh, specifically with the head here that I'm thinking of that need to be worked on. Uh, the playability taking it back and forth was not necessarily a chore it was uh, I'm not going to say it was entirely enjoyable but it wasn't a chore either so from that perspective I think it it worked do I recommend it overall oh yes uh, I am having a ball with this thing it is satisfying me it's scratching that itch it's it's great. Um, it's worth every dime I paid for it. And the fact that it came early was just a, you know, without any, any prior notice, was, was just a, an added bonus for me. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I recommend this. I think you'll be happy with it. I think it'll be just fine. I don't think those are symmetrical. But, you know what, it'll be alright. Let's see here, the only other thing I need to do now is put Decepticon symbols right there because they go there, don't they? Yes, they do. Do we want a smaller one or do we want a bigger one? Eh, let's, go with the, let's go with the smaller one. So, this is Tom. I thank you for watching and I truly hope this video gets out in a timely manner. 
that Kang Toys one I'm doing is just driving me bug nut crazy. So, but we all can't have easy reviews. Not all the time, not as reviewers. So, hope everybody's staying safe. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, hope everybody's staying safe. And I guess I'll see you at the next review. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't had my cameo yet. Well, alright, you're on, on camera, Nemesis. Quit touching me! What do you want to say? Hey, buddy. You want to go get a beer? Rah! <laughs> Bye, folks. And thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you! Are you tired all the time? Do you run out of energon for no apparent reason? Do other robots laugh at you and call you weakling? Do you feel like there should be more to life than what you are experiencing? Then you should try Vitamin John. It is the world famous Energon supplement. No steroids whatsoever. We all use all natural products. Steroid, I mean the Vitamin John can turn losers like this one. Hey. Poof into magnificent specimens like these. Hey there, big boy. You want to come over and see me sometime? <laughs> so try Vitamin John today. Operators are standing by.